Hey everyone, Mr. Griffith here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to count the dotted quarter note. Uh, before we learn how to count it though, we have to know what it looks like and how it works. And so here's an example of what the dotted quarter note looks like right here in measure two. Notice how the dot is to the right of the note. Now anytime you add a dot to a note, basically what that does is it lengthens that note by a little bit. And specifically, it lengthens the note by half of the note value. Okay, so what does that mean? So if you have a quarter note, and you add half of its note value, half of a quarter note is an eighth note, you get a dotted quarter note. Another way to think about it is a dotted quarter note is equal to three eighth notes. And so you, there's a couple different ways that you can understand it. Now underneath each rhythm, I've, I've written out the counting so that you can see how that breaks down. So for example, over here, the dotted quarter note is counted as one and two. You could also do two and three or three and four. It really depends on where the note falls in the measure and what your time signature says. Now, on the other side of the equation, we have a quarter note, which is counted as one and, and then we have an eighth note that's counted as two. The other and will be over here, either underneath an eighth rest or underneath another eighth note. On the right hand side, uh, we have the same dotted quarter note right here, so it's one and two, but I've separated out each of the eighth notes. So we have one and two, and of course we could have another and on, on that side. Um, for our purposes, we don't need to know what that is. So now let's take a look at the rhythm up here. And so I have uh, just a short example. Um, I'll, I'll walk us through the counting and then I'll, I'll clap and count it for you. So here we have a quarter note. We count that as one and because quarter notes are worth two eighth notes. We have uh, two underneath this eighth note. We have an and underneath this eighth note. And then if we continue on, we have three and, four and, and here we are uh, at the dotted quarter note. And so we're gonna count this one again as one and two. And I usually write the two underneath the dot. That just helps me know um, that, there's, that there's that beat right there. And then here we are, there's that, there's that remaining eighth note. And so we add just an and underneath it. Then we continue on three and four and. Okay, so now here's how you count and clap this exercise. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just slide my hand along too so that you can see, oh, that's where the beats line up with each of the counting. So here we go once again. One and two and ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So there's a couple different ways, like I said, that you can understand how, how this works. You choose whichever one makes the most sense to you. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.